welcome back to me. It's been about a year since I have uploaded anything to YouTube. Um, life got a bit busy and I just didn't have time anymore. And I just realised recently, after doing my cousin's makeup for her wedding, that I really miss doing this. So that's why I decided to film this little makeup look tonight. And I'm just going out to the movies. I thought, why not just do a quick beat? So here I am. And if you want to see how to get this look, please keep on watching. Woo, hey guys. So I'm going to take my MAC 224 brush and just dip it into Peach Smoothie. I'm going to use that as my transition shade. So just buff it all over your crease and do that to both eyes. Then be a bougie ass hoe, go into your modern renaissance palette and just go into burnt orange. Do the same, buff it all over your crease. Do this to both eyes. Now with that same burnt orange shade, I'm just going in with the Morphe E23 just to buff that further. This is a dense and softer brush so it really blends it really nicely. And now going into Frap Eye by Makeup Geek and taking my Morphe R37. This brush has more of a point so it's really good for the outer V and really defining your crease. Of course, we're going to be doing the same on both eyes. Here I'm just picking up any brush I feel like, for example the Morphe E23 and just making sure it's buffed even further. With no product on it, just what was left over. I walked into Mecca the other day and finally they had restocked the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Um, this is just stunning, I love this shade, Rose Gold Retro. Is super fun so what you do is you just take the applicator that it comes with and apply that straight onto your eyelid and then it dries so fast so you gotta be quick to grab a buffing brush I just grabbed my manky old 217 brush by Mac and just try to buff it out um, once it's dried the glitter kind of goes everywhere but it still looks really nice I think it's a really good product and I kind of want to buy every shade because I'm extra and you know that they're gonna sell out really quick again Okay, moving on to face. For my primer, I'm taking Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer um, Hydrating Primer. Oh, well, that's a mouthful. Jeez, that can't be the name, can it? Who knows? I'm taking the hydrating one. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face, just using my hands. I've got to make sure that I get everywhere. This one's really good, but it dries pretty fast, so you don't want to leave it too long. And now I'm taking the Hourglass vanish stick foundation in porcelain and warm ivory i'm taking the porcelain shade and putting it at the high points of my face like my cheeks and my nose and my forehead and then on the outer portions of my face i'm taking warm ivory because it's just that little bit deeper and then i'm going to go in with the morphe e6 and buff that out I bought a whole bunch, I bought like seven of the hourglass foundations because um, I was doing my cousin's makeup for a wedding and a few of the bridesmaids, so I thought why not just invest in that? Don't invest in it. I don't even freelance. Why the hell do I have this many foundations? I don't know. Are you going to watch me use them on my channel for the rest of my life? Yes. Because no one throws out expired makeup unless you dropped it somewhere. That it should be thrown out. <laughs> Why? Why did I do this to myself? It's so good though. It's worth it. It's worth it. Who am I kidding? I, um, for the top part of my face, I'm taking the Real Techniques buffing brush. Just because it's a little bit smaller. Still dense. Just not as soft as the Morphe E6. And then yeah, just buff that out. Now taking Warm Almond, this is the deepest shade in the Hourglass foundation that I own personally. It's really nice for warming up the face and contouring so it is a good investment at the end of the day because you can really do anything with it if you want. Maybe I will freelance, who knows. And now I'm just buffing that out with the Morphe G3. I really like this brush because it's dense and it distributes product really nicely and helps buff out in the right direction. It doesn't take product away. And then I'm going to go in with 
the warm ivory shade on my nose instead of warm almond because that would have been too deep for the center of my face. I'm taking the Morphe E21 for that. It's got a nice angle so it really feathers it out and blends it nicely, doesn't leave it too concentrated. And just to further blend it out, with the product that was left over on the brush, I just take that Morphe E6 again and just buff it out further. I'm applying MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW20 to my cupid's bow, my chin, the bridge of my nose, around my nostrils and on my forehead. I will also be applying this under my eyes, but I do this last as I'm going to bake with it, that same sponge. When I'm placing the concealer under my eye, I put the majority part on the out outer portions of my eye and I leave it kind of whatever is left over on my brush and place that directly under my eye. I've been doing this because I find it looks the most flattering um, and it helps my eye stay as hydrated as possible. The beauty sponge is really good for your under eye because it picks up the product and distributes it pretty evenly so I find this is the best way to make my under eyes look as hydrated as possible. Camera is about to cut out, so off camera I'm just going to bake using the RCMA No Colour Powder and my damp beauty sponge that I just used to blend out my concealer. I really like the RCMA No Colour Powder because it's so fine, it really sets my eyes nicely, doesn't make them look dehydrated at all. Um, Laura Mercier Powder is also really good for this and it's a really nice all over powder just to set your face. I use the Morphe E2 for this. I really like this brush because it's so soft and it's really big so it gets the job done really quickly. When applying my powder I first pat and then blend. If you blend you're just going to take off the product and all that work you've just done. And now I just take the Morphe E3 for around my nose and setting uh, my smile lines just to really pack that powder in and then make sure that it's blended out nicely. With this same brush I just take off whatever bake is left over under my eyes. Now I'm going in with MAC Mineral Eye Skin Finish in the shade Medium Dark. It's really nice powder because it is a face powder so it has a nice sheen to it. I use the Morphe M527 brush. But I realized I wanted something a bit um, denser, so then I went in with a Morphe 58 brush. To contour my nose, I used the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. And I also contour below my lip just to make it look naturally more pouty. For my blush, I'm using Modern Mandarin. This is a powdered blush by MAC. I got this in America for $10. Who has a sale? Never in Australia does MAC have a sale. But when you convert it, it was probably like 20 bucks, but that's still cheap. I used a Morphe G4 for this, and I just applied it to my apples of the cheek and blended it out with my bronzer too. I wanted to give my lower lash line a bit more depth though, so it wasn't so white under there. So I just went straight into creme brulee using my um, E18 brush and I blended that out. I really like this brush because it's soft and I like the size of it for a pencil brush. But I wanted my eye to be like more blown out, so then I went into the same shade and used the E23 brush. For my highlighter, I am using Soft and Gentle because I am quite fair right now, and I'm taking that on a E60 brush. And then be a bougie ass hoe again and get a different brush and use the M501 brush just to highlight your nose, cupid's bow, and to further blend out your highlighted cheek. I'm taking my MAC Fix Plus just to spray it all over my face and make sure that I don't have any excess powder. Going in with Anastasia Clear Brow Gel just to set them in place. I want to make sure that they don't move all night. In between doing your brows, talk a bit of smack to your friend and then do your other brow. Using MAC Fluid Eye Pencil in the shade Black Brilliance, I'm just going to line my upper waterline 
This helps blend your lashes and your false lashes together. I am then going to take my MAC 242 brush with my same highlighter, soft and gentle, and just highlight the top of my brow bone. While I'm waiting for my lash glue to get tacky, I'm just going to put some mascara on. I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara Waterproof. I'm not sure I'm a super fan of this yet. I really like the normal formula, but the waterproof one, I feel like I can't get it off. So I'm wearing it five days after I actually wear it. Anyone got any good suggestions on some makeup remover? My lash glue that I'm using is Revlon. It's just a drugstore one. It does the job. But the lashes that I'm using are Velour and they're super bomb. I have no idea the style because I've wore them at least 10 times before this occasion. I will not wear a lash less than 10 times before throwing it out unless I find it on the carpet and my boyfriend's dad has stepped on it. It's a very sad day when I have to throw them out. So this is the completed look guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please follow me on Instagram and subscribe. Until next time, bye! Imagine if I just buffed on you.